I don't know about you, but I love watching movies like this. I and do I too. will say, that first Scream movie was really it, good. It was really good. Yeah, it, it had some great twists. It had some great jump out yes. moment. You know, I love the moments in a movie where you're like, okay, you just saw them behind the curtain, so now you're slowly going behind the curtain, and then they're behind your shoulder. Yes. Oh, that yes. gets me every time. So you half expect it, but you're, you still don't know when they're going to jump out, right. and it'll get you to, to move out of your seat, and e I love those. Even moments. that quick scene right there of, of Drew Barrymore when she picks up the phone, that was, yeah. it, it is one of those classic scenes from, from a, a horror movie, and one that if you were a child of, of, the, of the 90s, you don't forget. No. Or, and when your phone rings <laughs> while you're, and you're watching that movie, yes, yes or yes. you're home alone. And you're right. Thinking, oh, no. Yes, yes. Sometimes I've watched scary movies in the basement with the lights out at night by myself, and I think, why did I do this to myself? Mm -hmm. But uh, Scream was a great one. I love, I, I do like scary movies. Yeah, do don't too. be scary. When they're too gruesome mm -hmm. and, and too gory, it gets to a point where I'm like, okay, there's kind of a time and a place, but if that's the whole two right. hour movie, right. I, I can't yeah. do that. I like the ones that kind of mess with your mind. I like mm -hmm. the ones that have good twists. Scream did a great job with that. Um, I mentioned Saw a little while ago when that first movie came out. That was very interesting. Yep. I also really love a good villain, and to me, the creepiest villain is Buffalo Bill from Silent Hill. Oh, Land. yes. Yes. Disturbing in so many ways. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very he doesn't creepy. Doesn't have to be right. Not even Hannibal Lecter. Like no, no. right. Buffalo Bill is no. really. Ugh. When when I was younger, when I was a you know yeah, oh, I know. Okay. Yeah. wearing, Go ahead. wearing <laughs> the outfit in there the mirror. Is. There it is. There it is. That's, that's the dance. Oh. When I when I was younger, I would watch the original Psycho, like the the black and white original Alfred Hitchcock Psycho, yes. and I loved that. Yeah, I don't People know what that says about that me, but I love. No, it's it's very well done. The playing of the shadows. Yes, and the yes, and that and that has a good twist. That's got a to good twist too, as well. as well. There are some horror classics, and I think you got to give right. credit where credit is right. due. You right. know, we were talking to love that. to Brendan right now, saying like, when you watch a good scary movie. It's great. It is. Uh, the most horrifying film I've ever seen is uh, Gigli. <laughs> <laughs> hey -oh. Thank you. No, I, uh, like I told you, I watched the new Halloween. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Didn't do well, Ben Affleck and J-Lo. Uh, but I, I, I do like a good scare like you guys do, and it really is unfathomable, like you said, that 1996 is a quarter of a century old now. Yes. 25 Why? years in the screen movie. and. It's interesting to see, like you said, Will, you know, that original Psycho and then that remake, just like not as good, but oh. sometimes they do it right. So, mm -hmm. you know, to each their own, right? Let's right. check in with our viewers out there to see what you guys had to say about this topic when it comes to horror movies and whatnot. James loves horror movies this time of year. Friday the 13th Part 2 is one I have to see all the time, along with the first Saw movie. Yes, Michaela has pointed out the Saw ones, psychologically mm -hmm. thrilling and have a cool message. Linda says she loves all types of movies. However, I watch horror movies all the time. I will be watching horror movies on Halloween day. Well, that's the perfect day for it, Linda. Enjoy. Josephine is up next. She also enjoys a fright this time of year, saying the music in the original Halloween is haunting. <laughs> yes, it is. And also, I am scarred slash scared for life from The Exorcist. How could you not be? And Nathan leaves us with his thoughts. All right, I need a deep breath before this one. My favorite horror movies are Child's Play and Nightmare on Elm Street and Scream because those killer characters have, for better or worse, personality. Yeah, they have a hinge profile too, right? I have all the Scream movies on DVD and even watch the TV series. I would like to see what they will do with the story The next film in the next film next year. Absolutely. Thanks, everyone, for chiming in. We love when you're a part of the show. If you would like to do so, it's very simple. Just follow us at The Road Show on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Leave your comment on our Facebook Live buzz topic every morning, and you never know, this guy might read it right here on the show. I like that gesture, huh, Will? And still to come this morning on The Road Show. Thank you. I I am chatting with performer Rick Wakeman. Oh, yes, I am. That's right about his one-man show happening this week. You don't want to miss it, but first.